friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! As you are watching this video, we are currently on our first camping trip of the year. Editing Jen here, I wanted to hop on and give you guys an update on Diesel. So we just found out that unfortunately he has a torn ACL. It isn't completely torn where it's not functioning, but there's a tear in it. And in 90% of dogs within six months, it tears completely. And then he won't be able to put any weight on his leg at all. And it would be a much longer recovery, a much more costly surgery to repair the completely torn ACL. So we ended up not being able to go camping. We didn't want to risk taking Diesel, having him swim or jump or run off to go to the bathroom while we're camping and tear it completely. Then we're out in the middle of nowhere and we have no doctor in sight and he won't be able to get any treatment. So we decided to go ahead and cancel our camping trip just to err on the side of caution. He's more important than camping. We have a couple of calls in to some local veterinary surgeons to have that ACL repaired. It is a very expensive and very long recovery so we feel terrible but we definitely don't want him to live out the rest of his life in misery or pain because of that torn ACL so that's the latest update of course I'll keep you guys posted as we hear back from the surgeons on when the procedure will happen so yeah no camping for yes. us our first camping trip with our new puppy Palmer. So hopefully this goes nice and smoothly. This video was filmed on Thursday morning before we headed out the door to go camping. So I did end up weighing in a day early so that I could make sure that I have this video up for you guys. So if you're excited for another weigh-in video, WW Workshop topic recap, and kind of how my week went, give this video a big huge thumbs up. If you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized, specifically for you, macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend, as well as individual coaching if you wanna chat with me directly. Also down in that description box are links and discount codes to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. So let's jump in to this week's weigh-in workshop topic and kind of how my week went. you guys had an absolutely fantastic week. We are already in the middle towards the end of May. I cannot believe how fast 2021 has gone. Is anyone else with me? I feel like this year has just flown by. The weather is getting nicer here. In fact, we were in the 80s for a big chunk of the week. So I spent a lot of time outdoors with the dogs and just really spent some time in my yard getting things ready for summer. I was able to get in my three days of jazzercise. I've been doing really well on my May challenge. That was a challenge that we put together over on my Facebook group. That included 30 minutes a day of activity, drinking a gallon of water, doing some self-care, and staying within your points or calories, whatever it is that you're tracking and I have been nailing that challenge. I have been loving doing some extra self-care. That is something that I let go by the wayside a lot because I just get busy and forget to take care of myself. So I have been implementing a big self-care routine starting the beginning of May that I plan on continuing moving forward even after the challenge is over. I've been doing face masks and hair masks and one thing I've really been focused on is exfoliation. Just because we're getting into summer and I want my skin to look at its best. I want to be able to get nice and tan and have that just really pretty summer glow. I was looking for a way to easily exfoliate my skin and I found this mitt exfoliator on Amazon and I just have to share it with you guys before we jump into this week's workshop topic because it's been a big game changer in my exfoliation process. It comes in three colors. You can pick it up right off of Amazon. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you. It's silicone so it's sanitary which is a big deal to me. I stopped using loofah sponges a while ago because they're just bacteria feeding grounds. So I really love that this is silicone and it is two-sided. One side has fine bristles for cleansing your body and removing dirt. And the other side has coarser bristles 
for deep tissue massage and exfoliation. So I'll wash my body with the soft bristles, exfoliate with the exfoliating side. And I do like to implement the Tree Hut exfoliating sugar scrubs as well. I love these, I buy these at Ulta. You can get them at Target as well. So I'll couple the Tree Hut exfoliator with this exfoliating silicone glove and it is so fantastic. I can wash my body, exfoliate, it's sanitary. I just hang it on a little hook in my shower. So now let's jump into this week's WW Workshop topic. We are still in the Stronger You, Stronger Body series. This week's technique is to meal plan yourself to a stronger body. And if you follow my channel, you know that I meal plan and meal prep every week. It has been a big reason why I've been successful on my weight loss journey. When you're planning your meals for the week, make sure that you're mapping them out to help you reach your goals. If you want to build strength, build lean muscle, look lean and mean, make sure that your meals help boost your muscle and your bone strength. Think about when and where you're going to eat your meals and what those meals are going to consist of. It's best to build all of your meals and snacks around zero point foods. That's what they're there for. They're generally low calorie, high protein, highly nutritious foods. So make sure that you're building your meals around the basis of zero point foods. So for example, if you're thinking about what to have for lunch or what to plan for your lunches for the week, think about having the basis be around chicken or fish or lean ground turkey. Then from there, swap in some of your favorite foods. Make sure you're picking a healthy carbohydrate side and a vegetable. Make sure that you're choosing fruits, veggies, and grains that are high in vitamin D. And then think about how you're going to prep and flavor your meal. What spices are you going to use? How are you going to prep your meals and store your meals? So what you eat, not just working out, plays a part in whether or not you become stronger, leaner, and healthier. That's why eating with strength in mind is so important. Adding in protein and calcium and vitamin D are essential. Protein powers up your muscles. And you guys hear me talk about protein all the time. I have a protein goal that I meet every single day because it's so important for muscle building retaining all that lean muscle and losing weight in a healthy, sustainable way. Protein powers up your bones, muscles, cells, and blood in your body. It also helps with body mass and losing weight and of course maintaining that lean muscle which makes you look leaner and stronger. And I'm sure you've heard that calcium is good for your bones but there are a lot of other health benefits and strength related benefits around calcium. Pair your calcium foods with those rich in vitamin D. Things like milk, cheese, certain cereals, and if you like sardines, they're actually a great way to get in some calcium, protein, and vitamin D. Now, meat and dairy aren't the only foods that make you longer and leaner and stronger. There's also a ton of fruits, vegetables, and grains that contain protein, calcium, and vitamin D. So again, make sure you're building up and planning your meals around zero point foods. Make them well-rounded with some healthy starches, fruits, vegetables, and you're off to a great start to get a leaner, healthier, stronger body. So now let's jump in to how my week went as well as my way in. So I had a great week. Like I said, I've been really indulging in self-care and I'm loving that. I've been working out. I've been tracking my food, drinking my gallon of water. In fact, I'm drinking water right now and I've been feeling really, really good. Really proud of myself for being consistent and really nailing this challenge. It's been rough. I'm not going to lie. The 30 minutes of exercise or intentional movement every day has been rough for me, but I've been doing it and that's what matters. I've set these goals and I'm sticking with them. And it's been really beneficial, not only to my physical health, my mental health, but also my weight loss. So when I stepped on the scale one day earlier than my normal weigh in, I am down one pound, exactly one pound on the nose. That is fantastic. That means that I am down three pounds total for the month of May so far. And I have lost weight every single week. I attribute that to staying within my calories and points, moving my body a little bit more, drinking my water. And again, self-care has been really good for my mental health. So I couldn't be happier. I feel really good going into this weekend, not only being in this challenge, but seeing steady weight loss all month definitely keeps me extra, extra motivated. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your month of May is going. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? And what do you think about meal planning for strength? 
to make you a stronger version of yourself. How do you think that meal planning and building your meals around that is beneficial? Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, and links and discounts to all of my favorite things. And I will make sure that I link my favorite silicone body scrubber and exfoliator down below for you as well. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh-in or a video in general. Happy, happy weekend, my friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.